Hi, Steve Cuso for the New York Post here. I've got four jars in front of me and they are 16 ounce jars of new Rayo's soups, which you can buy in a store for $5 a pop. Now, you all know Rayo's. This is the restaurant up in uh, East Harlem where you uh, wait uh, 47 months for a reservation. Uh, you have to know somebody who knows somebody who knows Frankie, and then Frankie does this and all that. And after like three years of waiting, you go to this Rayo's and you have spaghetti and meatballs, all right? So, you know, not everybody thinks it's, it's worth all that time and effort, but that's okay. Let's see what these things taste like. I'm Italian American, and I grew up with Italian American cooking. So I have some background in this sort of stuff. Um, I'm also the restaurant critic here. So let's see, the first one, uh, this is a uh, pasta fagioli, which if you came from a background like mine, you, this was pasta fagioli. Okay, let's see. Hmm, uh, fairly hearty, not bad. Uh, a lot of salt going on in there, which is the secret to uh, sugar and salt are what make dishes popular with a lot of people. And, hmm. Uh, um, it's got these nice little um, cylindrical pasta, which we used to know as a tubatini, which uh, lend a nice mouthfeel. So I'd give this one uh, an 8 on a scale of 10. Next up, vegetable minestrone. Okay. I can see that it looks, it's got the same kind of cylindrical baby pasta um, and... fine if you like your vegetable minestrone uh, on the bland side with little baby carrots and little baby green things maybe they're not clear what they are and it's fine but if you've had a lot of vegetable minestrone in New York or in Italy or anywhere in the world you know that there are stronger variations than this one now okay chicken noodle the noodles are sort of short-cut curly pasta. We've got the same generic little bits of carrots. It's fine. There's not much in the way of seasoning in any of these soups. These are for, uh, I would say, Midwestern uh, Italian tastes, okay? Mm. And then the last, hopefully not least, chicken and gnocchi. Unless my eyes deceive me, it says product of Canada. It's Canadian, Canadian chicken and gnocchi from Rayo's, okay? I thought Rayo's was supposed to be about New York and about uh, Little Italy and Big Italy. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. Mm. It's milky, thick, too creamy for my taste. The gnocchi are, uh, these are not big, round, plump gnocchi. These are teensy weensy gnocchi. And, um, so what? That's it. If I had to pick a favorite, I would say the chicken noodle, only because the, the noodles, the curly pasta, has very nice mouthfeel. Uh, really has a nice tactile feel, or clings to the tongue, and, um, it feels as good as it tastes. The other are all sort of milky and uh, creamy. Go you can it. get stronger, bolder flavors in a can and spend 89 cents versus $5, I think, for each of these. That's our report this morning on Rayo soups, so you don't have to wait 47 months for a table to have spaghetti and beef.